going to make this cluster lariat now on some leather done in a very similar way to the charm bracelet using the head pins. So again I've got an assortment of beads, some glass, I've got a couple of metal pieces this time as well, head pins and some jump rings for joining it all together. So I'll just show you again, putting them on some head pins. Oops, if I can find the hole in this one. So pop the bead on, like before, we bend it over first, then we cut off the excess, so it's saving yourself about a centimetre. It's the round nose pliers, it's the very end of the wire, part way down the pliers, and bending that over back on top of itself. I so say you get about halfway round and your wrist won't actually go any further, so you have to let go and reposition the pliers. So again, grip the very end of the wire and then continue that loop all the way round so it's touching back to itself. Okay, do a couple more. So onto the head pin, bend it over, save just a bit less than a centimetre, very, very end of the wire and round, so it's touching back to itself. So I'm doing 12 all together for each cluster. I've got a couple more to put on here and then I'll show you how we join them together Oops, with the jump rings. So it's all the way round and touching back to itself. I've just done a bit of a mixture of colours here. I've got some grey and some pink and as I say with a few metal pieces in there as well just to break it up, give it a bit more sort of colour variation and texture. So there we go, I've got 12 now all together on head pins. So we're going to put them on jump rings. Again we just twist these sideways to open them up and I'm going to hang four of these beads on each jump ring, putting in a mixture of colours on these. And then to do them up, you can just do it with your fingers, I'll do it with the pliers just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gripping each side and twisting it back like that till it joins up. So that's one. So I'll hang another four on this one. And so they're all just various beads. It's quite a good way, these sorts of things and the charm bracelets for using up any kind of random beads that you've got. You don't have to have, you know, a matching set to do this jewellery. Again, twist it back together to close it up. And then my last four to go on there. I mean, you can make these clusters whatever size you like. I just find that these sort of numbers work for me. So I've got four beads on each jump ring and three jump rings all together. I'm now going to join them up with a jump ring between them. These are a seven millimetre jump ring that I'm using here. So I put on one of my little clusters and then another one. And again, twist it back together to join it up. Then I'm going to use another jump ring and I'm going to find one of the jump rings that's got beads on it and then join on that last one. So I've now got my three little clusters joined together with jump rings. Okay, so that's the cluster. I've got another one there that I've already made. I've got some leather here. This is a two millimetre leather, but obviously you can use whatever type you like. And all I'm going to do is just do a regular overhand knot and just pull that nice and tight. And then what I've done with my other one is just actually thread that back through a couple of the jump rings to tuck the end out of the way before I trim it off. Because you don't want to trim it too close to the knot, otherwise your knot may well come undone. And then I'm going to go round to the other end and do the same thing. Just an overhand knot, thread that back through a couple of the jump rings and then trim it off. So that's a kind of double-ended lariat that you can wear just around the neck and, and tied at the front. As a slight variation, you can just do a single cluster. That's a cluster done in just the same way but just a few more beads on it. I think there's about 16 beads on that one instead of 12. And again, I've got some leather. But this time what I'm going to do is actually thread that on there. I'm just going to tie a knot to hold it in place.
Okay, so it's more like a pendant rather than a lariat. I've got some leather ends here that I'll put on the end to show you. So just pop that on the leather there. These are like a spiral coil that goes all the way around. And what I'm going to do is just squeeze down that very last link to actually squash onto the leather and grip it. So I'm going to hold the leather end with my left hand. This time it's the flat nosed pliers because it's the squeezing things. You always want the flat ones. Now at the very end of this coil I've got here sort of facing towards me and it's just a slightly kind of sideways thing just to, as I say, just pinch that very end there. Can you see how that's squashed down on the leather just to grip it? And I'm going to do the same on the other end. So again, put the leather in, turn it round so that the very end of this coil is here facing towards me and the flat nose pliers just catch the very edge of that and squash it down onto the leather. Then I've just got a plain hook here. I'll put these on. I mean, you can use any type of clasp. Once you've got the leather ends on, you've got the loops on the end of the leather, so you can use a different type of clasp if you prefer. So that's on there. So you've got the single pendant cluster or the double lariat one done in the same way.